guys. Um, today on the blog I shared our Christmas budget printable and so I just wanted to show you real quick how I use it, um, how I feel it works best for our family um, to help you get started. And of course you can tweak it a little bit to use it however it works best for you. You can download this on my blog morelikehome.net and I got a bunch of other Christmas stuff going on there too that you should check out. So first thing that we do of course is have to set a budget and the way that we did it this year is we started by allotting the amount of money we wanted to spend on each of these things. So like for our budget per child we would start by putting what we're going to spend there and then our total for the kids. You can really see already how quickly Christmas adds up which is why it's so important to have a budget and to stick to it because it's going to be real easy to spend more than this on the kids if we are not careful and diligent. Um, so my first thing is we get together, we talk about what we want to spend here um, for ourselves, for other friends and family, what we want to give this season, how we're going to decorate if we need anything, all that stuff. Um, get it here. If you need to multiply it by anything, we move it over here. So 200 total for my husband and I. Um, and then once we are done shopping, I can come over here and keep track of what we actually spent what the difference is that hopefully will be less than our total budget um, and we'll come out ahead with a little extra. But if not, that's what the, I mean, this is our budget. If we use all of it, it's okay. Notes down here if I need to make note of every, anything. Oh, and then up here, once I get all these filled in, all these filled in, I add it all together and put our total budget up here so we have an idea of what we're gonna spend for the season. And it is helpful to us to do this a little bit before Christmas so that we know what we need to have set aside when that point comes. Um, if you are already like right before Christmas ready to shop, you may need to do it a little differently and start with how much you know you have to spend right now here and then break that down into these categories. Um, it, works, it works great either way. So once I have that done, then I can move over to these other sheets. I'll start with the kids sheet because I spent a lot of time trying to decide what to get for the kids. So this is set up with the way we shop for our kids, which is the four gifts, something they want, something they need, something to wear, something to read. Um, I also have, I usually will do a family gift, like a board game we can all play, and I will allot a little bit of each person's budget to go toward that, since it's for everyone, and whatever we're gonna put in their stocking has to fit in this budget as well. So, once I have this page that shows what we're gonna spend per child, I can come over here, write their name, write what we're gonna spend, and then as I'm looking, as I'm shopping, um, I can write things I know that we're gonna buy, things that we have bought. Oops, so that's gonna be a need. So the want is usually something like a toy. This year for our need, I think we're gonna do duffel bags that they can use when we are camping or visiting grandma, because right now we have two carry-on suitcases that we share between all six of us. So I think everybody's gonna get a duffel bag this year and hoping to get them for around 20. We'll see what we actually spend. Um, and if it's more than 20, we're gonna have to take money away from somewhere else, because that is what budgets are for, and we are gonna stick to it, folks. Um, something to wear, we are gonna get him a hat. And I found one that has Zelda on it. I think he's gonna love that it's also 20. So basically like this, we just work through, find out what we're gonna get, what it's gonna cost, um, make sure it fits in the budget, and then when I actually buy it, I will see if I can find anything on sale and write what we actually spent if it's different than what we budgeted. And then over here, there's just a place to mark if you bought something, if you've wrapped something, you know, keep, keep you all tidy and organized. And so this fits two kids per sheet if you do the four gifts like we do. Um, so I will print out two of these, this sheet, since we have four kids and that covers all of them. Then this gift budget sheet is just more open-ended. So anyone else we're gonna buy a gift for, like I'll print out probably one of these sheets just to use for my husband. Um, to keep track of what I get for him. I'll have a separate one that's for family that I can keep track of each person. We usually get like one gift per niece and nephew, so I will write their names here, what I got, our budget from back over on this sheet, when I set that budget, um, the budget for it, and then what I paid for it. And there's a total spot at the bottom to make sure all this is staying tight, folks. So it also will help me sometimes to fill this in first before I fill this in because I can list everyone that I know I need to buy a gift for, make sure they're all accounted for, make sure I've budgeted for each of them, 
add that together, and then I will enter that over here for my other total to make sure that I've not forgotten anybody. We like to do a Christmas Eve box, so there's a section for that where we will give them pajamas, a movie, some kind of snacks. We've done toys in the past. We're not doing it this year. I think we're done with that because we get enough toys on Christmas. Um, so it will be pajamas, movie, and snacks. So we budget that on here. Um, giving budget, whatever you're going to give this year. We have like local food pantries that do a Christmas dinner. We can give to, we love to do the catalogs from Gospel for Asia or Samaritan's Purse. They both have, you know, the catalogs they send you in the mail that we love to do with the kids. They can flip through. They can see, oh, we can give money for them to get goats. We can give money for clean water. And it helps them to really visualize what you're giving. Um, also, Operation Christmas Child is a great one where you actually pack a shoebox with gifts and they send over to seas to someone who wouldn't have a Christmas. Really fun ones to do with the kids. Okay, decorating budget. Um, if you know ahead of time there are certain decorations you need, you need more lights or whatever, you can budget that too. So we just have this, we're getting the whole Christmas season wrapped up nice and tight, guys. We're not wasting anything this year. Um, so you can budget that here. If it doesn't fit in this budget sheet, don't buy any decorations. It's okay. Not planning to buy anything this year. Not a thing. Um, food budget. If you're doing a big dinner or something, you can start budgeting for that here. Let's see. Sorry, back on this page, there's also a bought and wrapped sheet. This one has a pea sheet just for purchase. So if you're listing food you need to get, you can check if you've got it yet or not. Decorations, check if you've got it or not. And then this last sheet is a travel budget um, because we always end up going to see family. We don't have any family in the area, so we can keep track of gas, you know, food that we eat on the way, things like that we can budget for. Um, and then just a miscellaneous section. If you've got anything in your Christmas that we don't have in ours, you can put it there. Um, also, this big sheet is great to print out. If you have a certain um, other category that we don't have, you can print this out and have a lot of room to list whatever you need to list. Or if you don't do four gifts for your kids, you can print this out and do all their gifts on here. That's pretty much it. And then, um, like I said, we're going to buy something and it doesn't fit in the budget. It doesn't fit in the budget. And it's okay. We are still going to have a good Christmas. We're going to have a lot of fun, make good memories. And at the end, we'll come back and see how we did. That's it. So let me know if you have any questions or need any help. You can hop, up, hop over to my blog, morelikehome.net. Um, leave a comment, and I will help you out if I can. And like I said, you can download it there. So good luck, and Merry Christmas, guys.